this is absolutely the most powerful bug Vault Hunters has ever had. And no, I'm not clickbaiting you. This glitch allows you to have every single max effect of Rampage and a full Empower active at once for free. All you need to set it up is at least nine skill points, a skill altar, and enough regret orbs to do three regrets on the skill altar. So if you're doing this at level eight, which is literally the minimum level requirement for this, you'd only need three regret orbs. And just a disclaimer before we get into the video, please do not abuse this bug on multiplayer servers. It's extremely fun, but there is no reason to cheat. Let's have fun, but be fair and respectful to the people around us. I'll even do this demonstration in survival mode so you know for a fact it works. So, up in the right, we have eight unspent skill points, and that is because I've already taken a little picture of our skills with uh, one dash in it. And the reason I did this is because you need to take a snapshot of your skills with your Rampage completely unspecced and unspecialized and your Empower completely unspecced and unspecialized. It's very important that they are unspecialized even when you regret them because this little guy will remember your specializations even if they're unspecced. Um, very, very important that they are just base. So once you've taken a snapshot, and you can have anything. You could have Nova, you could have Vein Mine, you could have Ghost Walk. It doesn't matter what you do. You could have any of these abilities. Just not Empower and not Rampage. Then what you're going to do is you're going to spec into your Rampage fully with your eight remaining skill points, and we're going to start with Chaining. For those of you who don't know, if you activate that, it'll drain your mana, but give you a really powerful Chaining effect, and it takes all your skill points away. That sucks. We don't want it to suck. So leaving the effect on, very important. The effect needs to be active. Load your abilities and talents. You'll see that the effect is still there. In the upper right, I have my effect marker, but I also have eight unspent skill points, and my mana is regenerating. And lo and behold, when I slap these dummies around, they're still chaining. Say you've befallen some harm and think the heal ability is for chumps, well, boy have I got the bug for you. Go back to Rampage, respec it fully. Notice how it doesn't delete your little ability up top. Yep. And you're going to want to take your vampire specialization. Activate it and once again, load your abilities. Now we have two rampage abilities up there. And if I start punching these guys, you will see my health slowly increase. It'll even work with crits as well if you want to deal a little more damage. And if we really wanted to heal some, we should use this iron sword to really help us out. Okay, pretty cool I hear you say, but I promised Empower, and here Empower comes, just repeat the process with base Empower, activate it. Oh, you're so fast, but so is your mana, except not anymore. We are super speedy, we have the screen effect, we have the Rampage effect, see, they haven't gone away. And, uh, for the piece de resistance, to get the final Rampage effect, you just need to spec all the way into Rampage. Do not activate Rampage. Do not reload your skill abilities, okay? Just leave it like that, and you can see in the bottom, uh, rather above our hearts, we have the plus 225% marker, and we deal the additional damage. And there you go. You have successfully completed the most powerful bug in all of Vault Hunters. Now I hear what you're saying. You're saying, why not do this with the other activated abilities? Like, you know, why not have Infinite Shell, or Infinite and Power Ice Armor, or Infinite Smite, or Archon, or Thunderstorm, or Mana Shield, or Mana Shield Retribution? They don't work. Yeah, quite simply, they just don't work. I think it has to do with the fact that uh, they directly affect mobs instead of player stats, and you can't really trick the game into continuing to do them. However, I think with these abilities, you'll do just fine. I mean, look at this. With just an Iron Sword, I could do a 19.5 base attack and chain that 50% each chaining for 8 chainings. This is pretty good, and if you'd like to see it in action... This is a level 20 vault with a Guardian's objective enabled, and behind me, of course, is an obelisk that'll spawn three Guardians. Now, I'm only in Diamond Gear, Diamond Sword, Diamond Armor. All I have is this and the bug active. And uh, as you can see, we're going to make some pretty short work of these Guardians. I mean, our jump crits deal so much damage. We leech back every single point of damage that we take. You know, if we could actually hit them. Yeah. This is absolutely no problem in one of the worst gears you could be in at level 20. 
Just a note, this is completely reload safe, except for the empower. You'll have to redo empower if you reload your world. Uh, and if you do die, you lose all of it. But once again, it's, you know, pretty easy to get back. So what do you think? Is this the most powerful bug that Vault Hunters has ever had? I really think so. I'd, I'd be hard pressed to find another one uh, bigger than this one. And if you enjoyed this video and want to watch me, you know, play more Vault Hunters, well, subscribe. Uh, unrelated, I tried to test this out with the Guardians and, and had a little mishap. Um, and I think I died while leeching and the entire vault is uh, frozen now. So there, there's another bug if you die while leeching. Or perhaps this is just regular lag. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see Let's see if the vault actually... like. Did I just freeze the vault? Oh, nope, I think the game's crashing.